fist in your neck. Soldier. All right, look. Hit that sub button. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. You understand me? Subscribe to my channel. Join this fist unit army and get fist unit tough. All right. So we need a receiver. We do. Giants are in dire need of a receiver. We are in dire need of a corner and we are in dire need of a center. We have a couple spots that we really need help in. But in the NFL, you, you have to score to win. You're not going to win off defensive football. Ain't nobody winning off defensive football. It's not that ain't how football is played in today's game. It's just not. At the end of the day, everybody talked about, oh, the Eagles defense is so great. 70 plus sacks and all this other stuff. But when push came to shove, it was Jalen Hurts a bust. And as much as I hate the Eagles, Jalen Hurts was an animal in that Super Bowl. It, it, it wasn't about the defense. Defense couldn't stop Mahomes because he's Mahomes. So what I'm trying to say is I don't want a corner at 25. I don't want a center at 25. I want a wide receiver that can help us beat and outscore Jalen Hurts. I want a receiver that can help beat and outscore Mahomes, and that's what type of time I'm on. So I'm looking at JSN out of Ohio State. You know, six foot, 210, you know, big kid, especially for a slot receiver. And I'm going to be honest with you. The guy's a route tech. Dude is crispy out there. He's, he, he, he's, he's crispy out there. You can get a paper cut off the routes. I like him. I like him. High points the ball. Good in the end zone. I like him. I do. And according to Garrett Wilson... He was the best of the bunch because, you know, Ohio State was stacked with wide receivers in 2021. And Garrett Wilson's like, bro, he's better than I was. And we all know how nice Garrett Wilson is, right? <sighs> Last year, he didn't play. You know, he, he he missed three games. No, he played in three games last year at a hamstring injury. But in 2021, the dude was on demon time. Had 95 catches, 1,600 yards, nine touchdowns. Dude was on demon time in 2021. We've seen this before with Jamar Chase. Jamar Chase misses the whole season and still is the first wide receiver taken off the board. And, you know, the Bengals, I mean, look, at the end of the day, the Bengals are in the catch-22. You, you don't go to the Super Bowl without T. Higgins. But at the same time, maybe you don't lose the Super Bowl if you had you know, Penny Sewell at right tackle <laughs> protecting Joe Burrow. So, you know, it's like, I want to say the Bengals don't regret j taking Jamar Chase, but that's like the ultimate rock in the hard place. You could protect Joe Burrow or you could get Joe Burrow a weapon, and they chose to get Burrow a weapon. And I'm hoping that's what Joe Shane does at 25 and gets Danny a weapon instead of a center or instead of a corner. But, the, but back to JSN for a second. It's <clears throat> him being out all of last year doesn't bother me. It doesn't. Him being out all last year doesn't bother me. What bothers me with JSN is he is a slot receiver. He's a slot receiver. That's what bothers me with, with JSN. He's a slot receiver. The Giants are already nicknamed the slot machine. I nicknamed him the slot machine. Our whole wide receiving group is the slot machine. That's what they are. All right, you could put us in the middle of a casino in Vegas and let people pull on us because all we do is ding, 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 ding. that's all we do. We slot receivers. That's all we got. I mean, the only outside receiver we have is Darius Slayton and I guess Isaiah Hodges. That's all we got. So why would we bring sand to the beach? Why? Why would we bring sand to the beach and draft JSN? He's not going to be there. I'm just speaking hypothetically because I highly doubt he'll even be there. But the point I'm trying to make is I don't care how good he looks. We don't need no dang on slot receiver, bro. We got Paris Campbell. We got Wandale. We got Sterling Shepard. We got Jamison Crowder. I mean, geez, Luis, ain't we supposed to be putting Darren Waller in the slot too? Ain't Darren Waller a hybrid who plays the slot a lot? I mean, yo, there's only one slot, bro. Unless you're trying to line up at four or five wide receiver sets. I mean, there's only so many players you can put in a damn slot. So, JSN is literally bringing 
sand to the beach. We don't need to bring sand to the beach. All right, we don't need him. We don't need him. I don't care how good of a route runner he is, and he is a great route runner. But are we sure that translates to the to the to the boundaries in the NFL? Daniel Jones is a wide receiver who could play on the boundaries and take the top off of the coverage, and most importantly, attract double teams. That's what he needs. He needs a guy who is going to command attention, a guy that defenses game plan around, a true number one. That's not only going to help Danny, that's going to help our abundance of slot receivers, and that's going to help Saquon Barkley. We need a real number one who's going to get number one attention and do number one things. Draft a slot guy 25 out of Ohio State who don't even run fast. Don't solve that problem. He don't need he ain't even fast. Every time I he he might be the slowest. Ohio State wide receiver I ever seen in my dang long life. Normally, Ohio State got the burners. Them in Florida. But he ran, what, a 4-5? It, 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 he what, we were like a 4-5? So, I mean, and look, I get it. Everybody's in love with him right now. I get it, but we don't need him. We don't need him, man. Giants need a legit number one who can play on the outside and get things popping. We don't need another slot receiver. Bottom line. So that's my two, two and a half cents on the JSN situation. I watched the film. The guy looks good. I don't have a negative thing to say about him other than are we sure he can get open on outside coverage in the NFL? Because, number one, you're playing in college. All right? So that you, you already have an advantage. And you were playing in the slot in college. They're, they're not physical in college. They're not going to press you off the line like that in college. There's certain defenses you're not going to go against in college. But when you go into the NFL and you're getting pressed by grown men inside and outside, guys who've been around the block, can you get open? If we draft JSN, can he get open on Bradbury and Slay? Can he get open on Diggs and Gilmore? These mofos travel. In case you ain't heard, we in a division with elite corners. Gilmore, he travels. Diggs, he travels. Bradbury, we had him on the Giants. We know he travels. Darius Slay, he travels. Go ask Justin Jefferson. So at the end of the day, what are we doing? Are we sure he can get open on the people we need him to get open on? We play Dallas twice a year. We play the Eagles twice a year. Those are the corners that when we look at these wide receivers in the draft, Giants fans, when we look at these wide receivers in the draft, I want you to close your eyes and say, can they beat the Eagle corners? Can they beat the Cowboy corners? This is what you need to ask yourself. And my question on JSN is I don't think so. I, I don't, I, I'm not that in love with them. Not, not, no, no. No, just I'm just not. It is what it is, though. That's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.